Greetings and welcome back, Dapplings, to the colony of Tea Town, where things are going a little better than last time. We do seem to need to be doing a little bit of work. We are actually almost producing enough at night to uh, cover what we need. Well, at least when the wind is blowing. When it's not, it's a little bit rough. But that said, we're not actually exhausting our battery nearly as fast as I thought. We're almost already halfway through the night and we're not halfway through our battery. So that seems reasonable right now. And the wind is literally non-existent at the moment. So it's uncommon for that to be for it to be quite that extreme, I would say. We've got all being produced, which is very nice. We've got two workers in there at the moment because there's nothing for them to do in here, which is fine. I'm quite happy with that. And we've got a fair bit of stuff being done in the botany lab okay we are actually storing up reasonable amounts of things Ooh, right landing permissions a landing pad has been built fantastic let's uh, go ahead and check on the landing permissions um yeah i i, I think that's perfectly fine 40 percent. well we actually like 45 percent um magic 10 percent engineer 15 percent i think mm, no, no, let's let's stick with that. I think that that should be okay. I want more workers than anything else, really. Right, next up then, the first of the new structures. Why don't we build ourselves a radio antenna? Starboard, advanced landing facility. Large colonists trading and visitor ships can land here. I eh, don't really need it. A way to contact vessels traveling near your planet. Now, if this is anything like Startopia, which if you're not familiar with that game, you should become familiar with it. It is fantastic. Then we're going to need one of these. Oh, really? Colonist ship just landed? Expansion reached. You managed to get new colonists. The first one when I actually didn't need it. Really? Well, okay. I guess it's quite nice to have new colonists. We're up to eight colonists now. Let's uh, just quickly have a check of this. How many colonists have we got? We've got four workers, two botanists, one engineer, one medic. That's perfectly fine. Right, we need to have... Yeah, we want a radio antenna. I'm not going to build a gigantic one. And I am going to build it outside still. Uh, but I might build it over here instead. There we go. Hook that up. It's going to take us a little while to get it, but uh, it should be fine. Got some making some... Spares. Oh dear, what just happened? Was that close? Uh, it doesn't look like it was. Okay. Phew. All right, we'll let that be built. And then I'm going to build another storage battery because I feel that we're, we're reaching our storage capacity very, very soon. So I, I'd much rather be using that for something. We're also going to need a radio console in here. So let's pop down a radio console. There we are. Fantastic. Now, how's everything going? We've got quite a lot of vegetables in here. I wouldn't mind a trade ship, honestly. Uh, ooh, is that a trade ship? No, it's a colony ship. You know what? Fine. I, uh, it's okay. I forgive you. Uh, we could perhaps do with... Well, we don't need more food, but I think at this point we are going to need more beds. So let's get an extra bed. We'll place one there. There we go. And I'm thinking let's also build ourselves a bigger table so more people can eat at a time. Place that there. Maybe an extra watering fountain or an extra meal maker. I wouldn't mind actually having an extra meal maker. Oh, we can't fit another one. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll have uh, just an extra fountain there and another plant you know, just to make the place nice there we go for now that's all we're going to need I think we have got our radio antenna but no radio antenna built yet we need two more metal for that more colonists? really? my lord we must be doing very well it seems that everyone is happy to be here my goodness me we're up to 12 colonists. We've got five workers, three biologists, three engineers, still only one medic. <laughs> uh, we need to change that. Medic, you're required to be 15%. Trading ship, oh my lord. Uh, 
uh, we don't actually need any of this. But I just flat out need to get rid of some of my vegetables, really. Um, don't need to get rid of any of the medical supplies. Could get rid of some of the medical plants, though. Sure. I'll buy some of this. Uh, and even some of this as well. I'll take this all the way up to five. There we go. Trade. Perfect. Please, would everyone start hauling all of that stuff out for me? Thank you very much. Really do need an extra power storage, but for now, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, we only need one more metal. I think that's it. Ah, fantastic. Okay. Radio antenna will go up. That means we can actually start uh, listening out for other people. Perhaps we'll even get some sort of emergency signal. Oh, someone's hurt. Medic, it's time for your for you to fix someone. I, I did have to check. For a moment, there, is it the medic is hurt? Is it the medic is hurt? Because I wouldn't put it past this game to have it be the medic who's hurt. The only one that I don't have two of. We need a medical droid. There we go. Right. We need... Someone is using it. Transmission interception chance. 30%. Okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe if there were more of them. Another colony ship. Wow. We are actually doing much better this time. Like, surprisingly better. Got two medics! Hurrah! That is good times. At this point, I'm going to say, yeah, we'll accept some guards. We'll leave the workers at 35%. We don't need more than that. Um, in fact, we'll pull the biologist down as well. Um, no, we'll put them back up to 20%. 20%. Yeah, that seems that seems reasonable. So we'll get another medic probably and another guard soon. I think that's a reasonable setup. We don't need more than 5% of our population being guards. We really don't. Very much doubt it. Uh, I don't even think we need more than 10% of them as guards, really. Um, let's pull that down, increase that. No. Nope. There we go. I think that's actually a reasonable exchange. Now, what else can we build in here? We can build some semiconductor foundry. An engineer can make semiconductors, an arms workshop. Yeah, let's get some arms. Is that a colony ship? Yes, it is. Have we got some new guards? We do. And we've got prestige of 29. Arms workshop constructed. We need semiconductors. Well, actually, we need quite a lot of things. And then we can produce guns. Okay, well, fair enough. We'll make a semiconductor facility. Right there. What else have we got? It is a trade ship. Ooh. Constructor bots. They're worth an awful lot. All right. How much is that worth? Only worth five. Um, sell off a bunch of our spares, bunch of our medical supplies, and buy a constructor bot. Yes. Oh my lord! You want? You are kidding! You're not getting that out of me, no. I'll take an extra two as well. I'll take a. I will take a bot though. There we go. Now I need to set up the cons the manufacturing limits because I like want five semiconductors. I'll have also I've got sixteen colonists. So I'll have twenty guns. As for robots, I pff, no idea when we're gonna have them. But our food stocks are low. Oh, that's not good. Are we not able to make them fast enough? Ah, okay. We're not able to make them fast enough. That is bad. Are we stockpiling food? No, we are not. Okay, we have grown very, very fast. Far too fast. We want radishes. Make me radishes, please. We then want another dome. And this time... Let's actually turn down the speed. We want a large canteen this time. We're in a position now where we can start looking to get large areas. And I'll build this one off here. There we go. We will have you go through here. Thank you. Maybe through there as well. Um, no. No, we won't go through there. Uh, what do we need for semiconductors? Okay, that's not too bad. Alright. I'm happy with this. I would actually also like another meat construction area. 
I know I have food stocks a lot. I'll fix it, I promise. Just give me time. We're doing okay down there. Okay, we're going to be waiting for a little while. I would have gone for a better power storage, but I think food is a higher priority right now. Probably going to want bigger storage eventually as well. Okay, we do not have the means to make this yet, so, you know, that's perfectly fine. We've got a lot of workers all doing work all the time, which is grand. I would actually really like another entry point to my colony. Perhaps down here, even. Though I would desperately like it to be facing a different direction, honestly. Can I get it to face the other direction? No. How do I turn that around? It's always facing the same way, more or less. Mm. Go, we've got another colonist ship. I don't want any more colonists right now. Lab is out of water. Okay, a lot of bad things are happening. Uh, we want this one to produce space bacon. That is the main one for us. Space bacon, please. It's okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll get more water soon, don't worry. Uh, we want... Actually, that's an outdoor structure. We want water extractor. We'll make it a, a large water extractor this time. Well, there's good. There we go. We still haven't actually intercepted any transmissions. Which is interesting. But we definitely need more food. Like, really badly at this point. Thank you very much, robots. Right, trade ship? Yes! Okay, we'll take the meals. 35% commission. That's fine. I'll just take loads of... Ooh. GM tomato DNA. It's very valuable. There's no way we're going to be able to afford that, unfortunately. Let's drop that down, then. Though, that said, ore is worth a fair old chunk. It's also, you know, stupidly important for us, but... Um, I'll drop another medical supply in there. Take some more meals for now. And then top that up with some coins. There we go. That should do okay. It'll take us a little while to get all of the materials over there, but we've got a lot of idle colonists, so it's actually not that bad. We're going to need a lot of metal and um, bioplastic to get that done, though. There we are. Fantastic. Get those meals indoors. Chop, 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 chop. God, these are all growing fairly well. We should be okay. Uh, we wouldn't keep getting people. Please don't land on all of my supplies. They're stupidly important to me right now. Oh, wow, you're fast. Okay, well, that's not terribly bad, at the very least. Quite a few people able to eat at the moment. That is good. People are no longer hungry. and People shouldn't be thirsty, generally speaking. All right. Goodness has been achieved for the time being. Oxygen consumption... Ooh! That's terrible. That is actually really, really crazy bad. We need a big O2 then. Hmm. Or a small O2 maybe. Well, yeah, realistically we just need a small one. Very unlikely that we're going to need bigger. I could tell you to stop building this for now. Yeah. Let's get all of that down there. This is way, way more important than anything else right now. Um, well, that can be built now. We actually do need the water, but we need the O2 super, super, super badly. We only need two things for it, and then two for this. I think we've got everything we're going to need for it, so it's okay. Hello, colonist ship. Okay, having so many colonists almost scuppered our plans there, but this should be enough to get our O2 back in production. Food stocks are low again? 
Are they arriving here ravenous or something? My lord. Maybe I need to tell people to stop coming by. Is there a way to tell people to stop coming by? Uh, landing permissions. Colonist! Oh, there it is! Damn it. That was dumb of me. Very dumb of me. But okay, we should be okay, okay in terms of O2 for now. Power? Possibly not. Now that that's actually kicked in, we should be... I'm hoping we'll be alright. But you never know. We've got 22 colonists, so it's actually quite a lot of people. Got enough water. Generally speaking, as, as long as people don't just get hurt, we should be all right. We're producing plenty of other things. We need this sorted out. Someone needs to finish building it. And then we've got the water in, uh, going in. There we are. Okay. So, slight danger averted. Food stocks are still low. We've run out of spares. Trading ship has landed. Okay, we kind of need you guys to make spares right now. Um... Yeah, this whole building needs to be prioritized. As for the trading ship, let's see, what have you got? Uh, we've got massive storage patents, a driller bot. Oh, a dedicated miner, I take it. Uh, could be good, but I just really don't need anything you've got, so I'm sorry. Goodbye. We've run out of space, and that is actually quite a bad thing for a sandstorm imminent, which means I need to tell everyone to stay indoors. Yellow alert, please. There we go. Get inside, please. I hope that doesn't keep up the whole time, because that's going to grow very annoying. Oh, they're very hungry. Perhaps right now, actually, what we need is not a canteen, but uh, an extra bio lab. A bio deck. Bio dome. There we go. Okay, well, on the plus side, I'm not likely to forget that I'm in that yellow alert. There is that, I suppose. Right, okay, well, the next one that we're going to have then is going to be another bio dome. Can I get this? Oh, it's so expensive to build. But it is really, really quite necessary. So let's try and get this. Just down there, because then we might be able to fit the canteen at the top. So, we need two metal, two bioplastic, uh, three metal, three bioplastic in total. We're making metal there. We are not making bioplastic, unfortunately. We have used up quite a lot. We are making some spares, or we will do as soon as we've got bioplastic. We actually need the spares quite badly, but uh, at this point, I fear that it may have been my... Lack of turning off colonist um, inflow, which is going to mess us up here. We have expanded too quickly this time. We're not so much built too much, but we've definitely expanded too fast. We are constantly producing bioplasts, constantly producing the metals. And you know what, actually, let's take this off priority. We need food more than anything else. There are people who are desperately, desperately hungry right now. It is actually producing food, though. Come on, meal maker. Make more meals. We're, oh, my lord. Did someone die? Has someone perished? <gasps> someone did perish! Well. Death does happen eventually. And that's one way of solving the problem, I suppose. It's not a very good way of solving the problem, but, you know. We just need another two metal, another two bioplastic, and then we're going to need some more bioplastic besides to build the growth trays. But we should be able to get food back and running, though I'm really quite concerned that only having one place is actually making meals is not going to be enough for us. Not even remotely. But we're close to finishing production on a couple of things, and our meat production is doing alright, kind of. Does this produce one or three? It produces one. Uh, it's not that good, actually. Okay. Oh dear, someone else has perished. Where have you perished? Who were you? Where are you? I see you not. Someone has perished due to a lack of foods. I feel bad. Everyone feels bad. Me especially, though. Because secretly, 
I'm kind of glad that my population is dropping. <laughs> so I've got three medics, one guard, five engineers, four biologists, seven workers. We could probably do with a couple of the workers not being around anymore. Died of starvation. Okay, well, you know, one of the workers just died. Uh, I feel bad for saying that now, but it's still true. Okay, we need the bioplastics really at this point, and they're unfortunately one of the slowest ones to produce because this only produces one starch at a time. That is atrociously slow. But we may be able to get this up soonish, I think. We've got food coming through a little bit. We're starting to see it improve. Please don't tell. Okay, it's a trading ship. Might be willing to trade some things with you. The meals are only five, the vegetables are five, bioplastics are ten. It's worth more to me to take the bioplastics. I'll trade off my ores. I'll buy a meal. Trade off my medicinal plants. Two meals. Um, we're going to need some more bioplastics as well. Ah, oh, try it. Go on then, take that. Can I get... Maybe this? Okay, yeah, not too bad. I'll take that back then. Actually, I'll just take one of these back. There we go. Alright, that's not a bad trade. It may save someone's life. Maybe. It'll definitely get another biodome set up for us, so... We do need those spares, though, really badly. Oh, what's wrong? You have had... Trauma injuries. There we go. There's meals, there's vegetables, there's bioplastics. Get to work, people. This is super, super important now. Got one meal in there. Got more meals on the way. And everyone is hungry. This reminds me of Chrono Trigger. But on the whole, I would say that this isn't a terrible situation to be in. It could, could be worse. Genuinely could be much worse. But as soon as we've got this biodome set up, we should be in a much better position. And right now, we actually don't need more power than we've got. But we're actually doing fairly well. When these things are running full tilt, then we're fine. It's when they, they slow down, which is the problem. Right, we want... Definitely, let's get uh, some... Mix up. We'll have a lettuce pad. We'll have... We need more starchy things. So we'll have a maize pad. I think we'll have a wheat pad as well then a mushroom pad so that was just purely making food for us okay someone else has died of starvation they were a biologist that's actually unfortunate because we kind of need you guys but uh we'll we'll make do i suppose all right how are things going over here we're actually making semiconductors and space finally because we're not actually using anything else up. oh well we kind of should be please prioritize getting things done in that room I'm not sure if that will just prioritize working those stations or actually building them. Either way, we need more bioplastic, and that's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take until this is finished to get the first one of these made. But we're actually making our first guns. Ah, glorious. That is constructed. We've got some spares. I hope they've already been applied to something. Our food stocks are low. Yes, th this is true. But we've got some more food being delivered, which is good. There we go. Someone is satisfying their need for sustenance. And hopefully soon we will have some bioplastics being delivered to make some more growth trays. And we will actually be making some more food. Hopefully. Once we've got that, we'll probably look at getting a bigger canteen because uh, having more of these would actually be useful. But only if we're producing enough food to make use of it. We have lost one of our engineers. Not a bad loss, all things told. We don't actually need the engineers as much as other things right now. It's it's sad, I know, but it's true. Have we got that bioplastic? Is it being taken to the right place? Yes, it is. Oh, fantastic. We're going to get some more food. I wouldn't even mind if you make one of the... Uh, in fact, you are making one of the starchy plants. So it's not... Oh, dear. We've just lost a medic. That's actually kind of frightening. Oh, no. Actually, you made food. Uh, oh, okay. Could be worse, I suppose. I'm not sure that we'd get any more colonists if I opened up uh, the colony, but... Hmm. 
We'll have to see. We have got some guns, though. So one of our colonists may now be armed. And we definitely need to repair that. Unfortunately. Let's actually see. Yep, you've got a gun. Right, trader. Trader person. Uh, we could get a Goliath turbine patent. No way we can afford it right now. Bioplastic, however, super, super, super important. I accept. What? Oh, okay, maybe not that many. There we go. We accept this, and I will take three of those, I guess. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. We will make this trade. It is important. We need more foods. Many, many more foods are required. Okay, with the bioplastic that's going to be coming from there, we may be able to get to a point there where we're not only going to be able to make more bioplastics, but we'll also have the capacity to get more foods much more quickly. And generally speaking, hopefully we're going to be able to pull ourselves out of this little pit that we've dug ourselves into. But we'll have to see in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, to take care.